Cue sound. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Behind the Scenes. Today I'm going to be talking to you about scenery design and making sets for your film. With set design, you're figuring out where things should be built in a three-dimensional negative space. The most important thing is to be completely accurate with your concept before the building process. And what better reference to have than our storyboards? It's sometimes easy to get carried away with the types of worlds you want to build, but luckily with these, you'll only build what the camera will see. Creating set design for stop motion, you have to think about the movement and functionality. Think about how the set will change from the beginning of the scene to the end. Trees, leaves, and plants all have very organic movements, so it's good to put interior wire in certain objects to control the movement fluidly frame by frame. Keeping close attention to detail of things in the background helps so much with the overall environment and the emotion you want to convey in your scene. Coloring, lighting, and types of materials should all be considered when determining the kind of mood you want to present. Not to mention, creating each object, there should be a purpose in order to excel the storyline. I think there's a point when making stop motion where you just get so desensitized to the types of materials and textures you can really use. I mean, everything can be usable. Whether it's scraps, paper, painted paper, cloth, fluff, paper mache, string, tissue paper, plasticine, hair, wet clay, and you start to become a hoarder of so, so, so much stuff. But anyways, <laughs> when you look at materials, you can also think about how to mix textures together to make new designs. But finding the right material can say so much about your environment. Relatively, I like to keep my sets pretty small, but you have to keep them big enough to capture the right shots. Think about the depth and layering as well. In a three-dimensional space, there's going to be more details to work on. Constructing sets is time-consuming, and you have to have a lot of patience to want to do it. That's my time, folks! Don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments and questions below, and I'll see you guys soon! Bye!